colour Doppler on the tricuspid valve in the apical forechamber view in this patient with pulmonary hypertension shows tricuspid regurgitation. Tricuspid regurgitant velocity could be used to help estimate the likelihood of pulmonary hypertension. It is derived from the application of the continuous wave Doppler across the tricuspid regurgitant jet. The tricuspid regurgitant peak velocity is best measured in the apical forechamber view. This is because of the direction of the jet and the Doppler beam are parallel to each other in this view and so estimation of the jet velocity will be more accurate. Continuous wave Doppler measures peak tricuspid regurgitant velocity in meters per second. This velocity reflects the difference in pressure between the right atrium and ventricle and can be used to estimate right ventricular systolic pressure and by assumption pulmonary artery systolic pressure. Right ventricular systolic pressure can be calculated from the tricuspid regurgitant velocity using the Bernoulli equation as shown here. Where pulmonary stenosis is absent, right ventricular systolic pressure is assumed to equal pulmonary artery systolic pressure.